We present a voxel-based variational autoencoder and an interface to allow users to intuitively interpolate between models in a learned latent space. The network is trained in a wholly unsupervised fashion on the ModelNet 10 dataset, and the displayed results are for the ModelNet 10 test set. The network learns a compact 100-dimensional representation of the 32,768-dimensional binary voxel grid. Interpolating between two binary arrays permits no obvious physical interpretation, but by interpolating in the learned latent space and reconstructing objects, smooth interpolations become possible. When interpolating between similar objects, or objects of the same class, the primary mode of variation tends to be rotation, indicating that the network has automatically learned some extrinsic object properties such as orientation. When interpolating between disparate objects, the network output always maintains some semblance of structure, leading to a flowing water type effect and a tendency for apparent voxel mass to be somewhat conserved. The network learns to produce a consistent structure regardless of the configuration of the latent space. This is evident when performing class unconditional random object generation by sampling randomly in the latent space. Though the random objects don't appear to belong to any particular class, they display connected structure and mostly do not produce any free-floating voxels. Our model, implemented in Theano using lasagne-style wrappers, consists of four convolutional layers and a fully connected layer in both the encoder and the decoder. Downsampling in the encoder is accomplished via strided convolutions, while upsampling in the decoder is accomplished via fractionally strided convolutions. Except for the linear latent layer, all hidden layers use the exponential linear unit nonlinearity, and all hidden layers are batch normalized. The mean and variance parameters of the latent layer are individually batch normalized, such that the output of the latent layer during training is still subject to random noise under the VAE parameterization trick. Our loss function consists of the standard Kale divergence between the latents and a multivariate standard normal prior, L2 weight regularization, and a specially concocted form of the binary cross entropy between the input and the reconstruction. The standard binary cross entropy weights false positives and false negatives equally. Given that 95% of the voxel grid for most models is empty, the network tends to confidently plunge into a local optimum by outputting all zeros. Additionally, the derivative of the loss function with respect to the output becomes small as the output approaches the target potentially resulting in vanishing gradients. We make two key modifications to combat these issues. First, we add a hyperparameter, gamma, which weights the relative importance of false negatives against false positives. Second, we change the range of the binary target value from 0, 0,1 to negative 1 and 2, and clip the output to be between 0 0.1 and 1. This results in an increase in the magnitude of the loss gradient throughout the domain of the output. The displayed graph is for the case of gamma equal to 0 0.5, equally weighting false positives against false negatives, and a negative target value. We experimentally validate this approach with an early architecture using a value of 0 0.97 for gamma to heavily penalize false negatives and observe significant performance increases. Interestingly, we note that for this particular training run, the error on the small held out validation set happened to be lower than the training error for the network trained with the modified binary cross entropy, though this was not generally the case.